Welcome to this version of beginning AutoCAD tutorials. Here we're going to do a simple part called the sensor mount from chapter two of the tutorial book by Mr. Shi. This one is interesting because we are not given the centers for this curve or this curve and we must construct them. To do so we will need to use a series of circles to find the centers of those curves recognizing that these curves are arcs that have a common center to every point here. The point out here is the same distance from here to this tangent point as it is to this point here. We can find these circles. We can find these lines and circles and this line. And between the two, we can construct these arcs. Let's start with making a line. And we're going to begin at a point Oh, about six inches over and one inch up. And we're going to go over four inches as shown and go up. Um, one and a half inches. Hit escape. Start with another line there. Go there and then go another one and a half inches up. Hit escape again. We'll do these two circles right here. And we are given their diameter, so we'll try to use the diameter. And that diameter is one inch. And I'm going to start it right there, but I know how far over and up they are. So I will simply move it. Select that object and select this as the base point and do a relative coordinate at one comma point seventy five and that's in its place. Click on it again, and I'm going to copy, and I'm going to use this again as a base point, and it's going to go to the right to zero. There's the other one. Now, ideally, I should have a center line going down the middle of this to use with all the symmetry that's involved. And I should have done that before I put the circles in. So let's put a construction line in. This will come up when you're using AutoCAD Mechanical, as I prefer to use. And we're going to put a parallel with half distance. Select that line, select that line, and here I have my nice mid construction line. From here, I'm going to make these circles and then move them. 
So I have a circle with radius of one and a half. Starting here. And then another circle, radius of three quarters of an inch. Then I will move them. Use this as a base point and simply use at zero and they are five and a half inches up from there. Great. I'm just going to copy this line. Move that to the base point. Go at zero two and a quarter inches up. Okay, so there's the easy part of the construction. Now, we recognize that for this curve, this point is three and a half inches from the center, which is somewhere around here. Likewise, this tangent point over here is also three and a half inches from there. So first thing I can do is draw a circle from here. That is three and a half inches in radius. So we know that the center of the curve lies somewhere on this circle. Now it's not necessarily at this point here. That's just kind of close and we're lucky about that. Well, if this is truly tangent at this point, then that means that a tangent line at this point is perpendicular to the radius line at the center, which means all we have to do is create another circle with this as the center and we add this radius of one and a half to the additional radius of three and a half inches which gives us five inches and we know that the center of this curve here is somewhere on this line because the center of this curve is somewhere out here. It is three and a half inches to this tangent and goes directly on to the center here of five inches total. So it's three and a half plus one and a half inches. So we now know that our center of our curve is right out here. So I'm going to make another circle at the intersection of these two. That is three and a half inches in diameter. And it just does happen to come very close to this curve as well. Now all I need to do is delete a couple of these. I'm actually going to keep this one out here because it's going to be helpful for the other side. I'm going to delete this one and then go ahead and trim this one over here. So that's a trimming entity and that's a trimming entity. Hit return and we're going to cut this stuff off and there it is. Now we're going to make another circle from here. That is again three and a half inches. 
So we know that the center of that arc is somewhere on here, and it intersects this circle of 5 inches, which is, again, 3.5 inches out from this circle, where we know the tangent is. So, go from here. At the center, three and a half inches. Delete this one. Trim. Using that as trimming entity and that as a trimming entity. And we're going to cut this part off. Okay. And go back to this big circle and delete that. What's left are the inner curves and a few more trimming. This is easy though, because we now know that they have a common center. And we'll just make a circle. If this is the center of a four and a quarter circle. Again, four point two five, and there we have our inner curves, although they happen to have larger radii. I'll go to trim, trim here and here. Whoops. And trim again. You can cut the bottom of the circle and this side of the line that side of the line. Finally, I'm going to use that as a trimming entity as well as that one. And cut out the bottom of that circle. Yeah, now we can get rid of the construction line. And I'm going to put in some center lines. Put another one here. And another one here. You can stretch these out if you want to. Put this down. I don't want it to snap to the end there. And there is the end of the sensor mount. Again, the key is to remember that this curve is defined by its center. And that this point and this point are both three and a half inches from that center. And that if this is to be tangent, it comes straight out from this center, which means this center and the center of the other is five inches. And so we can just make a circle of five inches around this center and a circle of three and a half inches around this center and find the center of this curve.